And so I'd like to welcome everyone this morning uh, to today's visit from President Pacific's College Representatives, Joy Rubio and Emma Heinrichs. My name is Paige Leverin and I'm the District Counselor for College and Career Readiness. And I'll be the host for the event today. Um, I'm gonna cover some basic housekeeping before we get started. Um, we're going to place all participants on mute, but you will be able to submit your questions utilizing the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. Um, please don't use the chat or raise your hand feature during the, during the presentation. We will not res be responding to those types of inquiries, so please stick to the Q&A feature. Um, so first of all, we will be recording today's event. And if you or friends are missing today's event and they'd like to see it, we're gonna post the recording on the website for Visal Unified's College and Career Readiness. Um, this is our website. You might wanna take a screenshot of that or grab your, your phone and take a picture of that so that you can access that later. Um, the event today will take uh, the length of approximately one hour. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and show, uh, share the screen with Joy Rubio and Emma Heinrichs. Thank you ladies for being here today. Perfect. Thank you so much, Paige. And thank you to all of you that are here bright and early at 930 in the morning. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get this started. All right. So just as um, Paige, Mrs. Leverin has said, um, feel free to utilize the Q&A chat, the Q&A box. My coworker, Emma Heinrichs, will be looking that over and either answering it during the presentation or if there's um, a bunch of questions that are very similar, we will then respond to them at the end. But we'll go ahead and get started. So as already previously mentioned, my name is Joy Rubio. I am an admission counselor for Fresno Pacific University. I also attended Fresno Pacific in 2017. Um, I got my bachelor's in communication studies and also double minored in business and music as well. I grew up in Visalia my whole life, lived here. Um, I went to Golden West High School, so if there are any blazers in the house, whoop, whoop. Um, but I have much love for all the high schools in Visalia, so it is a great honor to be here to present in front of all of you. So hopefully throughout the presentation, I'm able to provide you with some great facts about Fresno Pacific, maybe things you didn't know before, and hopefully also share part of my journey, my experience, and how I discovered Fresno Pacific, and maybe it'll resonate with some of you. So we'll go ahead and get started. So some of the questions we get are, <laughs> why Fresno, and where is Fresno anyway? I know coming from the Central Valley, um, sometimes Fresno gets overlooked because when we have the option to go up north for school, down south, or even out of state, why would we stick around and go to a school that's 45 minutes away? That was definitely my thought process, even though I didn't want to admit it. I thought in order to have the genuine college experience, I needed to go away. I needed to go you know, to the LA area and just be my own person. And I didn't even think that that would be possible going to Fresno, but it did. Fresno has very quickly become the fifth largest city in California, and it's in the name. It is very centrally located, as you can tell. We are surrounded by three national parks, Yosemite, Kings Canyon, Sequoia, and we're also a few hours away from the coast. So as you can see, Monterey, Pismo, San Francisco even. So we definitely have a lot of options as far as travel. One thing that I absolutely loved was that just in the time that I graduated high school in 2013 until now, Fresno has, the city itself has just absolutely transformed. The city has just become so much more community oriented and the small businesses in Fresno have just absolutely blossomed and completely revitalized some of the parts in Fresno that we may not have even wanted to go into, but now everyone is enjoying their time in Fresno. People want to move there. People want to go to school there. So, Fresno is definitely a place that is overlooked. It is a hidden gem that definitely deserves to have a second look. So Fresno Pacific 
We technically have five campuses, but for all students that are coming in straight out of high school or even transfer students will be attending our main campus. And our current incoming class is a little over a thousand students. So even though this number seems a little small compared to a Fresno State or maybe even another private school, this size just shows that you are going to get genuine attention from your professors. You're not going to be just a number. You will have a name. You will have interactions with them. And um, it's to me, it's just really significant because you'll get to know pretty much everyone on campus. Some people like that, some people don't. I know I absolutely loved it because I knew if, I always knew I was going to know someone in my classes. If I was gonna miss because of an extracurricular activity or I was sick, I always knew there's gonna be at least a few people that I know. It could be residents, it could be um, dorm mates, anyone on campus. So to me, I loved, I didn't think I would, but I loved having the small class sizes. Fresno Pacific is also what is known as a Hispanic serving institution. So what that means is that almost half of our student body is part of the Latinx community. And I really want to talk about this number because it is significant because Fresno Pacific is the only private school within the Central Valley. And sometimes there is a stigma or a stereotype of the type of student that attends a private Christian school. But at Fresno Pacific, our student body really does reflect the families that make up the Central Valley. And to me, that's so unique because especially growing up in Visalia, you know, you see there's so many different types of culture and different types of people. And to me, that was something that I valued. And I, you know, I, that's what I wanted when I went away to college and Fresno Pacific embodies that. That is what I got when I went there. And I didn't think I would, but I did. So to me, this is something that I think is important, especially wherever you end up going to school. So moving on to academics, we have an 11 to one student to faculty ratio. So this means that for every 11 students, there's one professor. So think about your biggest class that you have at high school right now. At Fresno Pacific, my smallest class was maybe about five or six and my largest class was about 50 students. So definitely not lecture hall size type classes. And, you know, for me, I always thought, well, Fresno Pacific is smaller than my high school. Why would I want to go there? I want to, I want to have that college experience. But in truth, the small class sizes helped me become more familiar with my professors, more comfortable in going to their office hours. And they were so much more willing to stay after class to talk with me. And so it made me feel good that I could leave the first day and the professor would recognize me as Joy Rubio, not just someone who sat in the middle of the class and will hopefully make it past the two week mark for before someone withdraws. So to me, that was, I highly valued that. We also offer over a hundred areas of study. So I saw some of the majors you all posted in the chat, which is great. Um, please feel free afterwards, or even in the Q&A to ask questions about specific um, factors for those majors. We offer over 40, we offer 40 majors and 38 minors. So these range from art, business, chemistry, biology, nursing, software engineering, philosophy, social work, sociology, communication studies, and so much more. And then with the minors, there are some minors that you won't be able to find within um, our major degrees like Hebrew. So some students will major in history and minor in Hebrew because it was something interesting that maybe they took a beginning class for their GE elective. So definitely really embrace that opportunity to take classes. Um, I know for some of you, you may be undecided and that is okay because truthfully, you really won't know for sure what you wanna do until you start taking general education classes. For me, I changed my major at least five times going from psychology to music, intercultural studies, and then I finally ended on communication studies and absolutely loved it. But I didn't know that's what I wanted to do until I took an oral communication class for GE. So don't stress yourself out. You definitely have time. I am a product of that. So, you know, take that time to explore the classes that you're going to do for general education. Our average GPA for our um, school is a 3.4, which is really significant because it just goes to show that those small class sizes really pay off because 
The professors are going to be intentional with you. They're going to have you come to office hours. They're really going to engage with you. At Fresno Pacific, we have an open door policy. So if you want to go speak to a professor, as long as their doors open, you are invited to go in and talk with them. You can also email them and schedule a planned office hour, but that was one thing I really appreciated is the open door policy. That way I could just peek in and see if they were available. 81% of our faculty have the highest degree in their field. So over half of our faculty will have doctorates. And so you know you're gonna get that quality knowledge. One thing I do wanna point out is that student assistants are not allowed to teach the classes at Fresno Pacific. So sometimes going to a state school or even another private school, the professors will teach maybe one or two times out of the week, and then they'll have their TA or their student assistant teaching that other day. At Fresno Pacific, we don't allow that. So this is something that's really important because you're paying for your college education. So you should be getting that firsthand knowledge from the actual professor. And at Fresno Pacific, that is what we do. One other thing I do wanna point out is that um, for classes, we only require you to take two biblical studies classes. So unlike most private schools, we do not require you to minor in biblical studies. The only classes we require you to take are JCC, which is Jesus in the Christian Community, and one upper division biblical studies class, biblical literature class. And you get to choose whatever you wanna take. I know for me, I took Jeremiah and Lamentations and absolutely loved it. But those are the only required biblical studies classes that you need to take coming into Fresno Pacific. At FPU, we have five top majors. So we have psychology, kinesiology, business, communications, and pre-health. So with the respect to two majors, nursing and social work, you don't have to worry about, am I gonna get into psychology? Oh my goodness, like do I have to do prerequisites? Unlike most schools at Fresno Pacific, again, with the respect to nursing and social work, as soon as you mark on your application, I wanna do psychology or I wanna do pre-health, that is your major and that is what you're gonna go into. I know, like at Fresno State, they'll have pre-psychology, they'll have pre-business. Um, and so you have to do the prereqs and then you apply to the program and you may not get in. And if you don't get in, you have to completely change your major. At Fresno Pacific, whatever you choose, that's the major you're gonna go with. And that was one thing I really appreciated because you're still gonna have the rigor in the classes, you're still gonna have that competitiveness with, within your classmates, but you don't have to worry about, am I gonna get in? What happens if I wanna change halfway? The great thing about FPU is that most of our coursework is geared towards making an easy transition. So um, if you wanted to go from liberal studies to maybe communication or English, there is an easy transition process for you to go into that. So you don't have to worry about being left behind or figuring it out on your own. Our faculty are really great about walking you through all the way until they need to hand you off to someone else. So you're never gonna be alone. You're always gonna have someone there helping you along the way. So as I mentioned, um, we do have a few distinctive majors at Fresno Pacific. So nursing is one of our newer programs. And I do know I saw some of you mentioning that you wanted to look into nursing or even pre-health. So just a few um, facts about our nursing program. It is a two-step process. So when you're applying to Fresno Pacific, you would put down on your application that you want to do nursing. However, you won't apply to the program until after your second year at FPU. So during your first two years, you will be completing your general education coursework and the prerequisites for the major. After your second year, once you've completed the prereqs, you will then apply to the program. And our program takes between 20 and 24 students. So I know some of the fear for most nursing programs is, oh my goodness, what if I don't get in? I'm gonna to have to change my major. There's no hope for me if I don't get in that first go round. At Fresno Pacific, that is not the case. If you don't get in that first go round, you are more than welcome to apply to the following year. Or if you would rather just go down a different path, you wanna change your major, you don't wanna wait, we do have some majors that you can easily transition to with the nursing prerequisites. So if you don't wanna wait, the majors that we have as a backup are pre-health or kinesiology. So that was something I found really relieving that a lot of nursing programs don't have is 
that those backup majors, the, oh my gosh, what if I don't get in? What's next for me? We do have other um, pre-health options for you. If you do happen to get in when you apply to the program, your next two years will be spent completing upper division coursework for the nursing program, as well as completing your clinical hours. So working in the hospitals or the other areas in the health field. <clears throat> One thing I do wanna point out is that you are not allowed to miss the clinicals. So if you know, oh, I'm gonna have some family obligations or I'm gonna be really involved with extracurriculars, that's probably gonna to have to be a conversation that you have with your program director because you will not be allowed to miss. As of right now, we are only um, admitting incoming freshmen. We won't be accepting transfer students for probably another two to three years. So the program really is at this point in time designed for incoming freshmen. Also, students that complete the prerequisite courses at Fresno Pacific will also get priority consideration when completing the application process. So just some things to keep in mind as you're um, looking into nursing programs and things like that. Our next distinctive major is liberal arts or a liberal studies education major. So one thing that does set us apart with this program is that our classes are designed to help you pass the CSETs. So if you're going into, if you're going into education, you should know that the CSETs are a group of tests that um, sometimes a lot of people struggle with because they're testing your competency and your knowledge of how well do you understand these subject matters such as math, English, science, and how well will you be able to teach them. So our classes are geared toward helping you pass those, um, those tests. Currently right now we are in the process of trying to have these classes count as a CSET waiver, but right now that's, we're still processing that so nothing is set in stone. Once you finish this major, you are more than welcome to go right into the credential program at Fresno Pacific. And I am very pleased to say that nearly 100% of our students that complete um, the multi-subject credential program at Fresno Pacific are offered jobs after completion of this program. Now this, um, this program is pretty fast paced. It is a year long, so it's one summer semester, a fall and a spring. So, our graduation typically happens in early May, so on a Saturday, pretty much that Monday, you are starting your credential program. So it happens really fast, but the numbers do speak for themselves. This program really does prepare you for the classroom. And I have many friends that have gone through this program, the major and the credential program, and they are currently now in their first or second year of teaching within the Central Valley. So it's definitely highly sought out. So if you are interested in the liberal arts or education major, please feel free to look more into it or ask me or Emma and we'd be happy to give you more information. Our final distinctive major is our software engineering program. So with this major, it really does prepare you for the career, not just with the knowledge of um, the software and the creation of it, but it prepares you with leadership skills as well. Your faculty that you work with in this major are gonna have worked for Chrysler, Motorola, Microsoft, and other big name um, engineering companies as well. The takeaway with this major is that your senior year, you will be completing a year long project that will then turn in to a portfolio that you can take with you to an interview. So not only can you say, this is my major, this is what I learned, but you're also showing how you applied it and you're showing them the end product of your creative abilities and the knowledge that you learn from this program. So if this is something you're at all interested in, we are, I believe one of the few college, private colleges in California that offer this major. So this is something really big for us as well. So I also know that a big concern is, can I graduate in four years? I have heard siblings, friends, relatives say that it takes them five to six years to graduate from college. Is that true? In some cases, yes, but at Fresno Pacific, we have a four year graduation guarantee. So with this, once you apply and you start enrolling in classes, um, you will meet with your advisor and let them know that this is something you're interested in. And then they will then plan out your four years with you in that one sitting so that you can see what will it look like. Um, just some, uh, just a little bit of tidbits on this. So you, for the students, you will need to complete 16 units a semester, so 32 units in a year. So that's gonna be about four to five classes a semester. 
You'll also need to maintain a 2.0 GPA, and you're also going to meet, need to meet with your advisor at least once or twice a semester just to make sure everything is in order. If for some reason you've come to the agreement that you're going to do this guarantee, you're following all the rules, you're following all the instructions that you were told, and you're still not able to graduate in four years, and it's because of the fault of the university, you can't finish in four years because Fresno Pacific is at fault, we will then cover that last semester completely. Um, cost everything. Um, we'll, co we'll completely cover that last semester for you. So you won't need to worry about paying that extra semester. But again, that is if, it, if the fault lies with Fresno Pacific. If you would like more information on this four-year graduation guarantee, you can go to experiencefpu.com slash guarantee. But just to ease some of the worries, many of my friends have been able to finish within three and a half years, but then they added on a minor because they wanted to have that four-year experience. Even for myself, I was able to major and double minor and still finish in four years. Really, as long as you're still, if you're a full-time student taking at least 12 to 14 units a semester, you shouldn't have a problem. If you decide to add on a major or a minor within your last two years, then maybe it'll take you a little bit longer, but really our faculty are really great because they understand that a private education is expensive. They completely understand that. So even without this guarantee, they are going to do everything they can to make sure you finish in a timely manner. So that was a huge comfort to hear. So as I mentioned, Fresno Pacific is a private Christian university. So there is a spiritual aspect to our school as well. We have our chapel, which is college hour. So it kind of happens in three parts. We have um, more of a worship service type of college hour. We have a sermon type of college hour. And then we also have almost like a TED talk. So we call it our chirp series. Um, one thing that I absolutely appreciated was our chapel is not required. It is completely optional for you to attend. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 10 to 10.50, that 50 minutes is completely designated to college hours. So if you decide I'd rather not go, then you have 50 minutes to do what you would like. For me, I appreciated it because I was very involved with music ensembles and sometimes I wanted to finish a paper. I wanted to get ahead in my classes. And so I would use that time. But to me, having it become optional made me want to go even more. And so when I was able to go to college hour with my friends, with my roommates, it just made it so much more meaningful to me. There is a perk though. If you do go 14 times in a semester, you get half a unit. So at the end of your college experience, you could end up with four additional units towards your major if you go 14 times in a semester. So that was one thing I appreciated that I had the option. I was given that free choice of, can I go to college hour or should I, you know, try and focus on my studies? So, but again, our college hour, our um, Office of Spiritual Formation that put it, puts on our college hour, they do such an amazing job. They are absolutely wonderful. And so I always tried to go. And so I encourage you, if you do decide to go to FPU, please go check out our college hour. Our student ministries and multicultural ministries, they do a lot, as I mentioned, in the community. So Fresno, the city itself, is becoming more community oriented and that's greatly in part into, um, you know, Fresno Pacific and Fresno State and many local churches really just getting involved with the local communities. So sometimes our student ministry team will do partnerships with local elementary schools or high schools to do mentoring programs or to after school tutoring programs or Saturday sports, really just to engage the community and let them know that we are a presence and we are here to help. Our multicultural ministries will do a lot with our international students sometimes. So we'll have cultural nights and we'll have our international students do a presentation and they'll come in their traditional cultural attire and then they'll also bring food from their culture and sometimes there's dancing. And we do this to show that diversity happens in so many ways. It happens in the people that we interact with, but it also happens in our education as well. And so that was something I really value and I'm glad that they still do. FPU also offers many mission and service trips, both locally and abroad, and that I'll go ahead and transition to our next topic, study abroad opportunities. So 
at FPU, we are very mission oriented as well. So study abroad opportunities are not just for getting class units, it's also to engage in mission and service opportunities as well. So a lot of students have gone to Costa Rica and Guatemala. And so these are more so of our semester long um, study abroad opportunities. Every other year, our business department will go to Vietnam and they will go to Laos, Thailand, and they'll look at the culture, they'll look at how are these, um, how are these countries economically sustainable? What is the tourism factor look like? And so that's typically a six week long trip. And um, our, um, our business faculty are really amazing people and they're super involved with these trips and it's just such a great time. Um, our history and English department will sometimes travel to Germany and England and they'll study famous authors that they're talking about in their classes. They'll go to places that historical places where these books were written about and they'll discuss this. Our biblical studies professors will go to Israel and Turkey and see where did Jesus and his disciples go in these certain parts of the Bible. It really is a truly amazing opportunity. And I really encourage you guys, no matter where you go, no matter what school you attend, always try and look for study abroad opportunities because especially now it's so important to understand perspective and seeing how other people live in other countries that's not the american way you know how do people interact with their families what is it like being in a completely different place where english isn't the first language and so i was sad that i was never able to do study abroad opportunities just with my busy schedule but truly if you have the opportunity seek this out because there's also potential scholarship available as well. I know for a fact that many of my closest friends did study abroad and as they went and they came back, they completely changed. Just their outlook and their perspective on life and just how to interact with people was completely different because that's what they were introduced to. So these are just a few of our study abroad opportunities. Um, Again, within this coming year, it might look a little different, but um, please seek out study abroad anywhere you go. So community and campus life are probably one of the best things about FPU because this is where everyone comes together. Everyone wants to be a part of it. And it's just, this is really where you get to meet people and really form connections, not with just students, but faculty as well. So for student events, one of our big, our big events is called Mock Rock. It is a lip sync and dance battle. It's really fun. Sometimes we'll have dorms go against dorms and they'll do crazy lip sync battles. And it's just so much fun to see and witness. Even now, um, I believe September 26th, our student event team is going to pay for the first 30 students to go to the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. So that makes me really want to go back and become a student again, because I miss those times. We also offer intramurals. So if you are currently doing a sport, but you don't want to play competitively on an FPU athletic team, then you will definitely want to check out intramurals because this is, you can still be active, still do a sport and still be competitive, just not for one of our teams. We have tennis, ultimate frisbee, soccer, basketball, volleyball, flag football, and so much more. These are such a great opportunity to really just interact and form your own team with friends, faculty even. It's so much fun. So you should definitely check it out. We also have athletic games. So we have many um, sports teams at Fresno Pacific that I'll get to in a little bit, but really no matter where you go, really go support your teams because there's nothing better than being a part of the student section and cheering on your roommates or your classmates as they compete against another school. At Fresno Pacific, our student section is called the bird cage. And so there's nothing greater than seeing people painting themselves half blue, half orange, wearing blue and orange Afro wigs and just doing crazy things. And it doesn't hurt that sometimes you can get a free t-shirt or gift card at the sporting events. So always check those out. We also have a lot of worship events as well. So we'll have Bible studies, we'll have um, worship nights. One of our things that we have at FPU is worship at the cross. So Mondays for about 30 minutes, students will go to our big wooden cross in the middle of campus and it's completely student led and students will play guitar, piano, and just worship for about 30 minutes. And it's just great to see who comes out to join in that worship time. At FPU, we also have clubs. So they change every so often because they are based on student interests, but um, 
we per the ones that I do know of so far. So we have our Shalom Club. So that's more of a um, eco-friendly green club. So they try to educate students on how to be more um, environment friendly, teaching everyone how to recycle, um, compost, and um, they currently just started a community garden as well. And it's just absolutely blossomed. So I can't wait to see what else they start growing. But um, another club we have is Mesa, which is a music club at Fresno Pacific. Um, so these are just a few. We also have a student government team as well. So with this, they are paid positions. So if you would like to run for president or any type of student body um, committee member type of um, lead, you can do that. You can run, you can campaign. And then if you do end up getting that position, it is a paid position. So definitely look at that as well. We also offer off-campus trips. So again, this year will look a little different, but in the past we've gone to Disneyland, Six Flags, and even Morro Bay and Monterey Bay. And the great thing is you don't have to worry about carpooling because Fresno Pacific has a charter bus, so you can ride in comfort and style. And these are just a few things that Fresno Pacific's community and campus life can offer. I, there's so much more, and I wish I could go into more detail, but that would take up the rest of our time. So these are just a few things that you can get involved with at Fresno Pacific. So as I mentioned before, we do have athletics at FPU. We are part of the NCAA Division II, and we are part of the PacWest Conference. So that means we compete in the Western region of the United States, and we go as far as Hawaii. So if you are interested in, if you are interested in um, trying out for one of our teams, you can go to our, our athletics website and fill out a recruit form. And with that, you'll put basically your information, what sport you're interested in playing, awards, honors, things like that. And then it'll get submitted to the coach and then the coach will look it over and try and get in contact with you. If you are interested um, and you end up do playing for one of our teams, you would then work with one of our other counselors, Sarah Vang, who is our admission athletics counselor. So you would no longer be working with me, but with her. Um, again, there are just a few factors with athletics. So um, it is based on skill as well as how big the coach's roster is. Sometimes the coach will only have two seniors graduating. So there isn't a whole lot of room left on the roster. Other times the coach will need to get a whole new team because most of their team were seniors. So those are just things to keep in mind, but our coaches are really great and they do welcome any student that's interested to reach out and um, just have a conversation and so they can get to know you. For women's sports, we offer basketball, cheer, cross country, soccer, swimming and diving, tennis, track and field, volleyball, and water polo. So these are just a few and they are a lot of fun. Currently right now, um, some of these are not in play, not in season, but we're hoping to get back to that in the spring. For men, we have baseball, basketball, cross country, soccer, swimming and diving, track and field, tennis, and water polo as well. There is opportunity to receive scholarship for um, our athletics teams. It can go from partial scholarship to full ride, but again, like I mentioned before, it is based on skill level as well as the coach's roster and what they're able to offer to students. But please check it out. Um, one of the things that I love about FBU again is that possible happens here. That is one of our taglines, but it is so true. At Fresno Pacific, I had the amazing opportunity to do diving for one year because I had a conversation with the swim and dive coach and they were really short on divers. And so they made it possible for me to do my music ensembles, work on campus jobs, be a resident assistant and still be a diver, be an athlete for a part of that time. So really, I'll say it again, our faculty, our staff, everyone will do whatever they can to make sure possible happens for you. We have many choral and instrument, instrumental ensembles as well. So we have concert choir, opera the Pacific, women's chorale, men's chorus, symphonic band, jazz band, Pacific brass, and handbells. And truthfully, it was the music program and the music director at the time that truly convinced me to come to Fresno Pacific. Fresno Pacific at first wasn't even on my list. And then when it was on my list, it was at the very, very bottom. I had gone on a tour, didn't like the school. And then for some reason, I just decided, you know what, I'll just go on audition. 
as soon as I met the music director at the time, my whole perspective changed. He had a conversation with me. He talked me through my pieces. He really just taught me. He wanted to have a conversation. He wanted to develop a relationship with me and just really get to know me and why I was so passionate about music and what made me start playing my instruments. And because of that, that completely changed my whole outlook on Fresno Pacific and immediately made it go to my number one choice of school. And so there's also scholarship opportunity as well with these groups from partial scholarship all the way to $10,000. So if this is something you're interested in, all you need to do is contact our music department and set up an audition time for yourself. They'll probably have you play some scales, bring a piece to um, a prepared piece, and they'll probably have you do some sight reading as well. But again, possible happens here, it truly does. And if any of you are interested in any choral or instrumental ensembles, please feel free to ask and I would love to give you more detail about it. We also have a theater program at Fresno Pacific as well. So with this, it includes two main stage productions which happen in the fall and spring. We have a spring showcase, which is on a slightly smaller scale than our main stage performances, but they, the, um, they range from drama to comedy, and so they are still really great. We have a stage reading series, studio performances, and musical theater. Our stage reading series, um, with this, the actors read from finders, so really the purpose is to give the audience a raw experience, seeing what it's like for students to read a script for maybe the third time and see what happens. And it really is a unique experience. Our musical theater, every other year in the spring, we have basically a musical. So it incorporates the song and dance. Again, if this is something you're interested in, please reach out to the program director for our theater department. She would be more than willing to have a conversation with you and just talk to you. Again, there is scholarship opportunity. And the great thing is, you don't have to be a theater major or be an actor or actress to receive scholarship. If you're more comfortable working sound and lighting, working with costumes, doing stage design, stage setup, there is a place for you and they will find some type of scholarship for you if this is something you're interested in. All it takes is for you to just reach out and let them know you're interested. We also offer visual arts. So if you're currently in any art classes or maybe you'd like to try your hand at some of our um, art classes, we offer ceramics, drawing, film, graphic design, painting, photography, and sculpture. And so one of the things I love just about college in general is that every extracurricular activity that you're involved in now in high school, it doesn't need to end after high school. I know for me, that was a huge concern about, can I even continue with my music ensembles? Can I, is, is there any chance for me? Is, what is there for me? There is so much opportunity for you guys to continue your passions and do what you love, not just in your major, but even in your general education classes. Right now, Fresno Pacific is getting ready to break ground for our new Performing Arts Center. Um, we're going to have a black box theater, a symphonic um, music stage as well, as well as a um, smaller art gallery so students can display their artwork. So this is something that's definitely been years in the making, but I'm super excited that it's finally happening. So hopefully within the next couple of years, you guys will be able to get to see and witness that. So now the big question. Okay. I understand as soon as we hear the words private Christian school or private education, immediately our mind goes to, okay, well, what's the price tag? How expensive is it? There's no way I can afford it. You know, or I'm not gonna get that much, but I'm going to show you just how affordable Fresno Pacific can be. I am going to give you an overview and then I'm also really gonna break it down so all of you can see that it is possible to attend Fresno Pacific and it is achievable to get your education at this institution. So 98% of our students receive some type of financial aid. It could be partial to almost completely covered. We also offer 169 available private donor scholarships through our institution as well. And two things I wanna point out that I'm a little jealous about is that when I was a student, I could only apply to five of these, but now you can apply to as many as you want, which is absolutely amazing. Secondly, you don't even have to be a registered student in order to apply to these scholarships. All you have to do is be accepted into the school and then you can apply to these scholarships. So 
those are two absolutely amazing things that I wish were made available to me, but now you guys get that opportunity, so please take advantage of it. Fresno Pacific is also the number one most affordable Christian college within California. And so if you go to christianuniversitiesonline.org, you can do a price comparison to see, okay, well, where, where is Fresno Pacific most competitive in their pricing compared to Biola? It could be in the units, possibly in tuition. Let's see where it actually is most competitive. So that's also something huge. We have a private school in the Central Valley and it's the number one most affordable college, private Christian school in California. So that's pretty outstanding in itself. So now breaking it down even further of how you can pay off Fresno Pacific's tuition. So as I mentioned before, FPU has many scholarship opportunities and grant opportunities for you to apply for. So it could be within your department. So whatever your major is, some departments offer scholarships, others don't. So you just need to ask. If you're gonna do any type of music ensemble, theater, sports, anything like that, there's scholarship opportunity. We have the private donor scholarships that I mentioned. And also we offer academic scholarships as well. So please, please, please finish strong this year. I know online school is not the easiest and it's not the most conventional, but you really do wanna finish strong because there is opportunity for you to get scholarship for your academics. And it can range from about $8,000 to also full ride. So don't give up, really push yourselves, try and achieve a good GPA because it will pay off. Next, we have the federal aid. So we have federal grants, there's Pell Grant and Cal Grant. And so with these, this is federal aid that you'll be receiving that you do not have to pay back. However, you do need to complete your FAFSA application. So if your schools or district are offering any type of financial aid workshop, please take advantage of it. Ask for help from your counselors. You can even reach out to me or our, even our Fresno Pacific um, Student Financial Services Office. They would be more than happy to guide you through the application if there's anything you don't understand or maybe don't feel comfortable talking about with someone else. Please reach out, we'd be more than happy to work with you. I know the application isn't due until March 2nd, but please get it done sooner rather than later because the sooner you get it done, that's one th less thing that you need to worry about. And then if you complete our application as well, that just means we can get you your financial aid package faster. We can have a conversation with you about, all right, academic scholarship, this is what we can offer you. Financial, based on your FAFSA, this is what we can offer you. So you'll have those answers sooner. And then if you do tend to wait longer, you're not gonna get as much from the, from the federal government as you could if you had finished the application sooner. So please don't wait, try and get it done as soon as possible. I know also loans are not the most desirable um, way to pay off college, but I do want to give you a brief overview of two types of loans um, if this is something you are considering. So more information can be found on the FAFSA website, but I'm just gonna give you a brief overview so you kind of have a brief understanding. There's subsidized loans and there's unsubsidized loans. With subsidized loans, you're going to get assistance from the US Department of Education. They're going to help you pay off the interest on your loans for a portion of time. So it could be while you're in school or maybe a few months once you're out of school. So basically with subsidized loans, you are receiving assistance and paying off that interest on the loan. Unsubsidized loans means that you are fully 100% responsible for paying off the loan and the interest on the loan. So subsidized, you're receiving help in paying off the interest. Unsubsidized, you have to pay off the interest. So again, this is just a brief, brief explanation, but you can find more information on the FAFSA website. But that's just something I want you guys to be aware of. There's also the opportunity to have on-campus jobs. So for me, I was a resident assistant and I also worked in the coffee shop. Um, I loved those jobs because my bosses worked with my school schedule. I didn't have to worry about driving off campus and working late into the night. I had a place that could work with my schedule and also um, I was able to make more relationships with staff, faculty, and even my fellow students. So that was something I absolutely adored. Lastly, we have the remaining balance. So please, please, please check your school's websites because I know your counselors will be posting out outside scholarship opportunities. So 
I know it's going to be a lot of work. I have been in your shoes, but trust me, it will pay off. Even if you see a scholarship that's only um, maybe $50, apply for it because it will add up. And with everything else you could be receiving, um, it will pay off. And that's a big portion of how you can pay off tuition at, at Fresno Pacific. So just wrapping it up, there are some ways that you can become more familiar with Fresno Pacific. Right now we're not giving campus tours, but we are hoping to resume that in the spring. We are offering a virtual campus tour on our website, which is really neat. You can have a 360 view and have one of our past student workers guide you through that. We are working on having virtual events that you can attend as well as being able to sit in on a virtual class this semester. We're just working with some professors on that. You can also schedule a virtual appointment with myself, a coach, faculty member, or one of our student financial aid advisors as well. I really encourage that even if it's just general college questions. We want you guys to be able to get some type of college experience, especially now since we're in a little bit of an unconventional time in the year. So please feel free to reach out. Lastly, getting started. So if you are at all interested in applying to Fresno Pacific, you can apply to um, our application at experiencefu.com. There is a $40 application fee. And so just keep that in mind. We will be asking for your high school transcripts, unofficial at this point, but eventually your official transcripts, and then your college transcripts. So if you've taken any classes at COS or any other community college, feel free to send those in because that way we can see what classes you won't have to take for GE. Right now, ACT and SAT test scores for Fresno Pacific are completely optional. So you don't need to worry about sending those in or if you haven't taken the test yet, you don't need to worry, it's completely optional. Our priority application deadlines are December 1st, March 1st, and then the last day to apply is August 15th. So we do have a rolling submission. However, as I mentioned before, the sooner you can get the application done, the sooner we can get you information on what we can offer you financially. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions on the application as well. This is just my contact information. So if you are interested in applying to Fresno Pacific, I would be the counselor that you're working with. This is my phone number, email address. This is our website, experiencefu.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for any and all upcoming events. So that's my presentation for you all. Feel free to um, ask any questions. I believe we are going to open it up to you guys. So Joy, thank you so much. I mean, such great information. Because we have such a small group today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up to a live chat for them. So if you have questions, go ahead and put the hands up and I'll uh, click on it to allow you to ask those questions to Joy. So if you have any questions at all, this would be the time to throw them out there. And it's okay if we're a little shy, feel free to utilize the chat as well. And sometimes when information is so new, it's hard to, to know what questions to ask. Mm -hmm. So this might be something that you think over and questions come up later and you can reach out to Joy and ask questions at that time as well. Um, exactly. We've got more events coming up. I want you to continue to follow us um, through the Visalia Unified College and Career website. Uh, we do put a newsletter out each month with all these college events coming up. Be sure to register for those ahead of time. Um, let me go ahead and share that with you at the moment. So this is our current um, newsletter. If you'd like to go ahead and take a look at that, you can check in on future events coming up and register for those. Um, but if you do have questions right now for Joy, that would be a great time to ask. Um, and go ahead and just put the hands up or uh, type a question in the Q&A. There we go. So is Fresno Pacific affiliated with a certain denomination? Yes, so we are affiliated with the Mennonite Brethren um, affiliation. And Emma can speak a little bit more to that as well. Yeah, so um, Fresno Pacific originally was founded as a Mennonite Brethren um, institution, university. 
And so um, that's kind of a, <clears throat> a smaller denomination um, that not everybody knows about. We do have kind of a community within the Central Valley of Mennonite Brethren individuals. Um, Fresno Pacific now is actually kind of opened up a bit as far as um, statements of faith and different students coming from different faith backgrounds. So we do have, while we are a Christian university um, and we do have those Mennonite Brethren roots, we do consider ourselves um, very inclusive in different faith backgrounds, different faith journeys, and we have students that come from um, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different church traditions, and um, kind of see it as an opportunity to learn from one another rather than have everybody who comes in already kind of um, coming from the same experiences. Fantastic. Do we have any other questions out there today? It could be about anything. It could be just about general college myths that you guys have heard that maybe you want confirmed or busted. So feel free to um, ask those or if you have any specific questions about your majors in general, um, if you'd like any specifics on that as well. Okay. I'm not hearing a lot from the students right now, which I get. I mean, there's a lot of information that was covered today, some great information. Um, we are going to post this webinar on our website. So if you want to refer back to it or need to reach out to Joy, her contact information is in the end of the uh, webinar. So um, feel free to ask her questions, email her, let her know uh, if you need anything. And I want to go ahead and thank Joy and Emma for being here today. Ladies, fantastic job. And uh, for the students out there, um, just know that resources are out there to help you. Don't hesitate to um, reach out to your counselors, your learning directors, also our upcoming events. Um, and we will make sure we walk you through this whole process. And thank you for joining uh, us today. Have a good thank afternoon. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank Bye, you so ladies. much.